Happening today, in just a couple of hours, a reenactment of the Parkland school shooting. Our top story this morning, that shooting ended with 17 people dead, another 17 hurt. It is a war school shooting in Florida. Several members of Congress and families of some of those victims are going to be taking a tour as well of that three-story building where the shooting happened before it is demolished. I imagine what it's like waking up for those families this morning, knowing what the day ahead looks like. Our WPTV's John Barron is joining us live this morning right outside the high school. John, what's the purpose of this reenactment? Well, today's reenactment is supposed to allow law enforcement an understanding of what they could have done better and also to better understand how to prepare for a situation like the one we saw in February of 2018. Now, I do want to go over a timeline of exactly what we're going to see today. That's what you're going to be seeing right here on your screen. Now, just walking you through it at 7.50 a.m., members of Congress and others will be arriving at the school for a tour. And then at 8 a.m., members of Congress and the victim's families will tour the 1200 building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Now at 9.30 a.m., the tour will come to an end. And then at 10 a.m., members of Congress and victims' families will hold a school safety roundtable at the Fort Lauderdale Marriott. Now during the reenactment, ballistic experts will fire off roughly 140 live rounds inside the school to reenact the mass sh uh, shooting that we saw in February 2018. And it is important to note that the reenactment is part of a lawsuit that's being filed against the Broward County Sheriff's Office and against a deputy who was recently acquitted on criminal charges after uh, abandoning the school when it was attacked. Now, several victims' family members, including Tony Montalo, will be at the school reenactment today. We spoke to him this week about how it feels to see this in person and why they're having today's reenactment. It'll be difficult. Uh, sadly, though, we need to do it. We need to try and have the myths and falsehoods that were described in the uh, failed deputy's trial uh, broken. Now, it is important to note that the reenactment won't take place until after the school tour sometime later. And then we do want to point out that Congress members will be uh, talking a little bit more about how this reenactment and all these phases will help them be able to keep these schools safer. OK, a lot of lessons learned there, uh, but no doubt a tough, tough day for those families to essentially relive this all over again. Absolutely. John, thank you for that. We want